what's up y'all, it's Charlie. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make my delicious homemade apple cinnamon crunch cake. Look at how beautiful that looks. Mm, mm, mm. Now all this is, is a apple pound cake with a cinnamon swirl filling, a oatmeal pecan crust, and we glaze the cake with a apple butter vanilla almond cinnamon spice glaze. This is uh, a great fall cake or for just about any occasion. So it calls for about 15 servings or more, depending on how you slice it. Absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your homemade apple cinnamon crunch cake. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need some all-purpose flour, sugar, brown sugar, this ingredient is optional, salt, baking powder, unsalted butter at room temperature, large eggs at room temperature, apple juice at room temperature, whole milk, two red apples, pecan halves or chopped pecans, Quaker oats, vanilla extract, butter extract, almond extract, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ground allspice, and some confectioner sugar. And to bake your apple cinnamon crunch cake, you will need some Baker's Joy non-stick baking spray and a Fat daddy o tube pan. Now this is a 10 and a half inch in diameter, 16 cup in capacity tube pan. And you will also need a food processor and an 11 by 17 inch baking pan with a cooling rack. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off my apples. All right, now I placed my uh, apples in this uh, air fryer basket. Uh, as you can see, I added a third additional apple, but that's mine. I'm gonna eat that with some oatmeal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place that in my air fryer. Now I'm gonna place these in my air fryer on 400 degrees for 30 minutes. But if you're using an oven, just put the apples in a pan, place it in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. All right, it's been about 30 minutes now. Let's check on our apples. Well, that looks good. You see how they look? They're also very soft. Exactly what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna just remove the skin off of the apple. All right, now I'm gonna just go ahead and just remove the puree off of the apple. Now that we have our apple puree separated and ready to go, now we're just going to take a spoon and we're just going to mash it up. Alright, I've taken the apple puree and I added it into this measuring cup. You should have about a half a cup of this apple puree, alright? Alright, so in our food processor, we're going to add one and one fourth cups of pecan halves or chopped pecans. And I'm going to blend this for about 30 to 40 seconds. There we have it. All right, I've transferred the pecan mixture into this uh, medium-sized bowl. We're gonna add a half a cup of rolled oats. I add about a half to one teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm gonna just give this a quick stir. All right, let's get started with making our cake batter. So for our dry ingredients here, I have a medium-sized bowl with a mesh strainer. We're gonna add three cups of all-purpose flour, one and one half teaspoons of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Now if you're adding, if you wanna add spices to your cake, you could add about one and one half to two teaspoons of cinnamon, one fourth to a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and about a half a teaspoon of allspice, if you wanna add the spices in there. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just sift the dry ingredients into this medium sized bowl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir. All right, now let's get started with our wet ingredients. So in a separate medium-sized bowl, remember our apple puree, about a half a cup, right on in there. And to that, we're gonna add one cup of apple juice at room temperature, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of butter extract, 
and a half a teaspoon of almond extract. Now you can reduce this to one fourth teaspoon if you like. I'm gonna just take my whisk and just give this a quick stir. Now you don't have to add the almond extract into the, the uh, mixture if you don't want to add it in there. All right, so in our stand mixer for the, with the paddle attachment, we're gonna add three sticks of unsalted butter, softened and at room temperature. It's a little bit too soft, but as long as it's soft, that's all that matters. And to that, we're gonna add two and three fourth cups of sugar. If you're adding the brown sugar, add one and one half cups of the regular sugar and one and one fourth cups of the brown sugar. Now I'm gonna start my mixer on a medium low speed just to get that butter and sugar incorporated. Then I'm gonna turn the mixer up to the highest setting and I'm gonna mix this on high speed for six minutes. Now at some point during those six minutes, you're gonna go ahead and stop your mixer. And you're gonna scrape down the sides of your bowl. And you're gonna continue mixing that in. All right. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Now I'm gonna add five large eggs in at room temperature, one at a time while mixing on a medium speed. down the sides of your bowl. Okay, now we're gonna alternate our all-purpose flour batter and our apple mixture into the batter three separate times while mixing on a medium low speed. All right, now I'm gonna add my first amount of the all-purpose flour mixture and some of my apple mixture. It doesn't have to be any specific measurement or anything like that. We're just gonna add it in here three separate times. Now I'm gonna mix this on a medium low speed until combined. All right, good. Scrape down the sides of my bowl. Now this took no more than 30 seconds to mix entirely. All right, now I'm gonna add the second amount of the all-purpose flour mixture and some more of the apple mixture. And again, I'm going to mix this on a medium low to low speed until combined. Alright. Scrape down the sides of my bowl. Now I'm going to add the last amount of the all-purpose flour mixture. Just dump it all in there. And the last little bit of my apple mixture. And again, I'm going to mix this on a medium low to low speed until combined. All right, scrape down the sides of my bowl and our apple cake mixture is now ready. It smells like apples, that's for sure. I could imagine how it's gonna smell when it bakes. All right, here I have my two pan. I'm gonna just take some softened butter and I'm just gonna spread that around the bottom and onto the sides of the two pan. Get all in the middle too, right here. Make sure you have enough to coat the middle. And I'm also spray the pan with some Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray. A little extra layer just as a precaution, you know. Sprinkle a little bit. All right, now we have our pan coated and ready to go. Now we're gonna add our pecans, our pecan and oatmeal mixture. Down to the bottom. Put some in the middle as well. I also want to place some on the outside as well. Take whatever rest you have and just put that along the sides. Just turn it. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 325 degrees. All right, now I'm going to add my apple cake batter carefully into the two pan. Try to add it in here as even as possible. Now I filled the pan at least about halfway up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sprinkle some cinnamon on top. 
be any amount, doesn't really matter. And I also have my pecan oat mixture. You could just take a little bit of that and just sprinkle that in there as well. Now we're gonna add the rest of our cake batter. All right, I'm gonna just take my spoon and I'm just gonna swirl that cinnamon and that corn and oatmeal mixture into cake batter. Be careful not to hit the bottom now. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit more cinnamon on top. And add some more of my pecan oatmeal mixture. All right, now y'all to make the batter more even, just shake your pan slightly. A little tap as well at the bottom, make sure it's all good to go. Now it is ready to be baked. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and place this into a preheated 325 degree oven. On the bottom rack. And I'm gonna just bake this until it's done. It only take about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes, but I'm gonna let you know the full baking time once it's done, all right? All right, it's been about one hour and 10 minutes for our cake, and it should be done. It smells great. Now let's go ahead and remove this out of the oven. Toothpick inserted into the cake should come out clean. Now you're gonna let the cake cool for about four to five hours before you flip it out of the pan. All right, my cake has cooled completely and I flipped it onto this cooling rack with an 11 by 17 inch baking pan underneath it. Ready to see it? One, two, three, voila. All right, let's get started with making our apple autumn icing. So in this medium sized bowl, we're gonna add one and one half cups of confectioner sugar, four tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, two tablespoons of warm whole milk, two tablespoons of warm apple juice, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of butter extract, one eighth teaspoon of almond extract, one eighth teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, and one eighth teaspoon of allspice. Now I'm gonna take my uh, whisk and just stir this until creamy and smooth. Now you can adjust the spices and the cinnamon to your liking. If you wanna add more, you can do so. There we go, our icing is now ready. Now, if you want your icing to be thicker, you could add less of the liquid ingredients or you could just let this um, sit for a couple of minutes and it'll thicken on its own. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the icing on top of the cake. Now, as a little final garnish, I took some of my um, pecans and uh, rolled oats and put them in the uh, oven on 400 degrees for about two minutes now if this this is an optional step if you don't want to do this you don't have to I'm gonna just take it and just sprinkle it on top of the icing I'm also gonna lightly um, add some uh, sprinkle some cinnamon on top now we're gonna let the icing set for about 15 to 30 minutes before serving. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, homemade apple cinnamon crunch cake made by New Orleans native. Now it's time to grate and take a bite. Oh, look at that, look at that. Mmm, mmm. Y'all, this cake is fantastic. I mean, it has a nice light crunch on the outside of the cake and it's all, the crunch is all around the cake. It's just not around the outside. It's at the bottom too. And it has a nice little apple flavor with that cinnamon swirl glaze. It's also a little dense, not too dense to where it's like completely saturated, uh, moist. Absolutely delicious, y'all. I mean, this is a wonderful, fantastic cake. Really good. So, give the recipe a try. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this fabulous apple cinnamon crunch cake. You can go to www.charlottecookandrews.com. 
I'm also on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Childhood Cook Andrew. So until next time, take care and I hope you all have a great day. Peace.